Hello friends, how we doing today? So, I just did a video on how to get these card heads off. I'm going to show you a little edible trick. Take 8 ounces of milk. This is just normal whole fat milk. Put it on the stove. Turn it up. You're not looking for much. You're just looking for a little bit of a boil here. Or I should say a little bit of a simmer, uh, simmer not a boil. I definitely take a little bit of a vanilla extracts. Even though this is going to be chocolate milk, you can make it hot chocolate. But I have like a little couple tablespoon, a uh, little couple drops of uh, vanilla extracts to give it a little flavor in the milk before I use the chocolate in there. There we go. What are we looking at? There we go. All right. Definitely make sure you have a whisk of some sorts. And as you can see, the carts are not in there. Milk is heating up by itself with a little bit of vanilla in there. I'm just gonna keep that moving around. Remember, we're looking just for a slight, a slight simmer here. I'm doing this much chocolate in there, which ain't much, just about an ounce, an ounce and a half of chocolate. As far as fat content goes, the, the better kind of fat in your milk, or the total amount of fat in your milk, here mine's uh, 10 grams. Um, if you can get something that's higher than 10 grams, uh, by all means go for it. Um, the more overall fat you, content you have inside the um, ba base ingredient you're adding your cartridges to after it's done, um, the better transfer of THC into that um, base transfer, in this case, whole milk. Um, yeah. If you want to speed, speed up the cooking process, put a lid on it. That'll drastically speed up the cooking process. Try not to throw these in there, these tips, even though they can have some stuff on them. Sometimes will melt even in the the uh, milk here. And you don't want any plastic or metal melting in the milk. There we are. I'm gonna give this stove a wait. I just made dinner, so it wasn't the cleanest. I apologize about that. And this, you know, depending on your tolerance, you can add a range of different carts. I pretty much say it's about one cart per one ounce of uh, milk. So if you have an eight ounce glass, it should be eight, eight cartridges. Unless, of course, you have a bunch of cartridges that have a lot of oil in them, like this one and this one. These these carts have so much oil in them, I'm actually just opting to uh, go with seven, and I think even that is real high, but I have a high tolerance. So you can play with this recipe back and forth. Um, you know, if your tolerance differs, then you can go ahead and uh, for sure um, add more cartridges, but uh, uh, definitely a good rule of thumb is one one almost empty cart uh, per ounce of milk. Get a little bit of movement here. Looking for a little bit of bubbles around the edges, just so these guys can see what I'm talking about here. Let's move the camera. See the bubbles around the edges there? You start to see them come up from the middle slowly but surely. That's what you're looking for. All right. I 
at this point, this is plenty hot. Like I said, we're not looking for a boil. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix, feel comfortable to mix my chocolate in. Remove it off the heat. And if you can see all that steam, that's plenty hot. I'm mix my chocolate in there. for a second. Okay. The carts that are all up at the top like that, just mix them in there. I just drop them in there like so. One, two. Now if you didn't heat it, if you heat your milk up too hot, you can actually melt the plastic on the side of these. And this plastic will melt. So don't heat up the milk too hot and then make sure you, you just do this. As you can hear, that's a bunch of carts going back around in there. Now if you don't feel comfortable making this, don't make it like this. I'm telling you right now, I for sure know this works. A little ridiculous, but when, you have, when you're in a program where these cartridges are anywhere from 40 to you know 75 dollars, can get a lot much. You know, can, can get a little bit much. There's the cup I had the chocolate in. Try to pour this in there kind of quick there. All right. And the reason why I do this is because, like I said, you don't want it to be too hot. And you don't want that plastic to melt in there. I just do this around my in my cup there. Helps get all that chocolate incorporated in there. I'm just gonna let this sit. How you how how long you let it sit is really up to you. Um, it's gonna get in there. It's gonna come out. Yeah. You know. Well, that being said. See if I can get this here for you, so you can see this. Okay, grab some tongs. Hmm. Ah, there they are. All right. We're just looking for one of those carts. Remember, one at a time. Not too bad. We got a little bit, tiny bit left at the bottom there, but not too much. Just check the rest of them. And as you can see, none of that is melted. That's how you know I got it just hot enough, but not too hot. That's almost completely empty, that kosher tangy one. Okay, let's put that to the side. Let's keep going. Remember to always, maybe even write down how many carts you put in here, because you definitely want to know. You don't want to go leaving a cart in there and having to choke on it or something when you go to take a sippy sip. I don't like it as chocolate milk. Something about warm milk just gets to me. So what I actually do is, after I'm done all this, I do that. Ah, so I'm actually glad this happened. So let's see if we can get in here. I'm gonna see if I can get this dry enough for you to see it so on the outside of the cart it looks like all the oil still there but if you remember this was the standard farms one with all the oil at the top there's not a lick of oil in there the cart is just burnt that way there might be a little bit and in that case I'll just grab it there stir it in there milk is still warm it will come off if it's anything there but like I said that had a crap ton on the end of that. And now all the stuff that was on the end of that is now in my milk. That's why I like getting the ones that have, having at least one of those big ones in there. Because that's kind of a dead giveaway that you got some, some uh, as much as you could out of that anyway. 
I think I have one more or two more in there. There you go. Take all the rest of them out. None of it, man. That's all she wrote. We are done. Let's see, you get in there. I'm trying to see if we can get to see any oil through the camera like I can. And drop deposits right there. Some old oil. Thank you so much. Everyone have a great day. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop some comments below if you have any um, more ideas for content. Have a great day. Hang loose.